Until we started filming, we'd no idea that the fastest animals on land had so many problems. They're sleek and streamlined, so they're not as powerful as other animals. That means scavengers make a beeline for them when they've got a kill. Jackals are irritating, but hyenas are far worse. There's nothing a cheetah can do. They daren't risk getting bitten by jaws as powerful as these. Cheetahs have another problem. There's only a couple of thousand left in the whole of East Africa, and as more land is lost to agriculture, their population just keeps dropping. The last thing we wanted to do was to make life more difficult for them. So, for instance, we didn't want to ruin their hunts by disturbing the antelope. But I have to try and get the most exciting shots I can, and that means filming the animals running straight at the camera. It's tricky because I've got to leave the stalking cheetah and go so far away that all I can see is the antelope. When the cheetah suddenly hurtles into view, I've got a split second to find it in my lens and start filming. Filming at normal speed showed how fast the cheetahs were running, but not much else. How could film reveal more about this wonderful animal? Owen decided to go big, to shoot huge close-ups and slow motion. Combination was fresh and exciting, poetry in motion. The footage also revealed the superb running skills of both animals. The gazelle's sharp pointed hooves help it change direction in a heartbeat. The cheetah can only keep up by using its tail like a rudder. It's also helped by having claws that don't retract, the only cat to wear permanently spiked running shoes. Owen didn't have many chances to film such a spectacular hunt. Gazelles outmaneuver cheetahs more often than not, so when the cheetahs were on top form, he had to make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> 